Okay, here we are. Um, I think I'm probably officially the first person on earth, har har har, that uh, has ever done this. Uh, let your grass get a little long, go through it some more, and uh, well, oopsie. And here's a device I plan to fix it with. Now, I recommend that you try to get as clean of a straight cut as you can. And I am using some, it's not perfectly straight, but it's plenty straight enough for this. And yeah, I know it's a tight fit, but all the better. Less leaks that way. I have brick here I can use. This is a high dollar hose, and well, I unfortunately hosed it. All right, I'm going to take. This end, this is a cobalt triple cut. I'm afraid I don't know that they're really even available anymore. That's a much straighter cut. This will, bye. Um, it's so tight you think, almost think you could use it without it, but I won't suggest it. All right, now. As you can see, I got the clamp in there, or the mender, mending piece. I lost foot, foot and a half of a hundred foot hose. It's worth saving. It's high dollar hose. I don't remember the manufacturer. They had a lifetime warranty. Remembering the manufacturer probably would have been key to that lifetime warranty. So I am, it's lifetime warranty basically I'm guaranteeing that if I completely obliterate this hose I will be re replacing it that's my lifetime warranty I got a lot of yard work yet to do but a lot of my burden has been lightened because the vegetable garden is technically done now as you can see some of the some of the bean sprouts are coming up Mmm, bean sprouts, tofu -y. Now, I like these clamps a little better. Now, the hose clamps, you know, the ones like they use in the cars all the time. Um, those are okay. They won't last forever, and I wonder if they won't get, lose the, I could, this, this concern here might be unmerited, but I wonder if they won't lose, co um, getting dirt up in the screw and stuff might cause problems. Um, I kind of tend to think that these are a little more substantial, and these ones are metal. I imagine these are made of aluminum, seeing as that they are rather light. Light aluminum go figure now these things I think over the regular screw hose clamps you know the ones that wrap and tightens as you tighten the screw um, the wrap I don't know how to describe it most of you might know what I'm talking about anyway this is this type of device here is not what you typically think of when you say hose clamp and these are the type of hose clamps they use for like radiator hoses and so if they're rather universal and they are benefit, not a bad choice. But sometimes you just want something different for certain applications, and I'm not sure. As good as it probably would last, and I probably would never, probably never have much of a problem with it. Uh, I think this will be even better, more durable. Just repairing my little oopsie. Got carried away with my new husk, the Varna tractor. Okay, 
I've had it for about a, almost a year now, so it's still new. The guy at the little store was very kind and got us a great deal on it. And I hear one of my children screaming bloody murder in the house. Yay! I will get this set up. I think it's important to go from one side to the other. Simple fact that I guess it'll work the other way, but it won't tighten down like the one I already have tightened. Or at least not very well. That might just be opinion, but that's, I'm sticking to it. And I I think I performed a dum dum maneuver as far as getting it tight. Eat your heart out, Skeeter. That 40% deep isn't taste so good, does it? <laughs> I just have to back this one off a little. I can't get it down as tight because I got it going over the brass ring. Um, point of advice there. Um, it was a little difficult to get this brass piece into the hose, but once I got it started and seated on both ends, it actually went in rather easily. So once you get it nested into one, nest in the other, and push them together, it works a lot better. Works pretty good. Okay. May have pay dirt. Or just dirty dirt. Okay, well, apparently it's not going to go on perfect. And I seldom go for perfect. I just only got a big head. I'm going to say that's plenty tight because, oh, yeah, definitely plenty tight. Okay. This hose is now virtually, well, is repaired. It'll never be its former glory of 100 feet, maybe a 98 and a half to 99 feet now. Boo-hoo. But here we go. Now, that takes care of that. I can finish another project. <laughs> 